All right, this is Clemens Ardek from Carrick Angren, and you're watching The Age of Metal. Hello everyone, this is Miguel with DH Metal here in Phoenix, Arizona with Clemens of Kayak Angren. How are you doing, man? Hi, I'm fine. How are you doing? Thanks. Very good. Um, well, this is your first North American tour, first time in the United States. How has been the experience of touring America so far? It has been overwhelming. <laughs> um, we expected some support here because we know we have some fans out here and we were uh, you know, planning to come here for a long time and finally it happened, but it has been completely overwhelming. We have so much support here and uh, the shows have been so great, so we definitely have to come back uh, if it keeps like this. Well, um, so far, it, this is almost the end of the tour. What part or which uh, parts of the United States of North America you have enjoyed the most? Well, I think every show was uh, really amazing. Uh, in Canada was amazing. Um, Chicago was really great. A lot of support there. But generally, it has been good for uh, for us everywhere. So, yeah, I'm I'm mind blown. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to hear. Now, uh, I know that you know touring North America is way different to touring Europe. Do you guys come across with any funny anecdotes or kind of weird happens that call your attention during the road? Ooh, it's a good question. Um, it is a bit different, but um, what I like, uh, what we like the most, is how outspoken the fans are. They they bring. We have brought us gifts. Uh, like yesterday, we got a nice notebook and some wine, and so. And uh, of course, that happens too in Europe. But uh, the American fans are really, uh, really awesome. <laughs> well, you were surprised that you guys have a kind of high volume of fans in the United States. Or you guys kind of like were thinking that you guys had it? Well, it's hard to, you know, we are on Facebook and everything and we see a lot of stuff happening there. But when you visit the continent for the first time, you don't know what to expect. Are all those people spread out? or? But it is more than we expected. So, uh, And that is what you want, you know, if your music is, is, is uh, entertaining people and uh, inspiring people. That is, uh, that's, that's just great, yeah. Well, uh, last week you released a new song called There Is No Place Like Home yeah. and it's uh, from the new album. Let's talk about a little bit of a new album. When it comes out and, and what is it about? We are looking at a February 2015 release right now. Uh, it has been a little bit delayed, but um, at least now we can prepare everything very good. It's going to be a bit more dark. <laughs> As usually, we are moving a bit more towards uh, horror themes. Uh, previously it was more adventure with that came through a phantom ship and war and this one is really uh, nasty I won't reveal the story <laughs> yet but we had some uh, hard times thinking like how are we gonna do this one because the story is really gruesome but we uh, we are really in love with it ourselves so we hope it will satisfy everyone's expectations the, in, in the past you guys always have these uh, thematics of ghostly and horror stories will continue with this new album and uh, will be a serial of stories or will be just one giant story divided through the whole album it's one giant story again uh, divided yeah and you got the first little part in the in the song there's no place like home so that's the background the set and it will develop throughout the album like uh, you are used from us yeah well, I understand that the album was mixed by Peter Tagren, and I think it's the first time that he works with you guys. But what uh, my question is, be, did he work any part of the production part or just the mixing? 
he did just the mixing, but the mixing has turned out uh, amazing. I mean, we worked with Patrick Damiani uh, on all the albums. He's a great guy. We recorded there again. We are we have a very good working relation, but you know, with this we uh, we change the sound a bit because Ted Kren has his own style, mm -hmm. but still he uh, he kept our the nature of our band intact by doing it and. He did it and we listened to it and we had like minor corrections or like things that we wanted different but we were just blown away immediately. He's very talented and I think the sound is a bit different than uh, before. But this album, as I said already before, is very gruesome so it needs a, you know, a punchy sound that needs to be in your face. So Like the song that you heard. Uh, yeah. yeah, all right. So. Uh, Gotcha. Now, in, in the same perspective, uh, after working with him, you guys might think to working with him in the future a little more deep as a producer or just will be however it goes this time? Um, I, I don't I have no idea. Maybe it would be an option, of course. Uh, but right now we, we completely focus on the releasing of the album and, the, and touring afterwards. And so we are not really focused on the next album. Although uh, we have to start writing probably <laughs> again <laughs> to be in time, but uh, so no, no concrete plans yet. All right, you guys are a Dutch band. Uh, the surroundings of your home, uh, or from where you drag this inspiration to create these kind of ghostly, well-narrated stories. Um, yeah, especially our first album, Lamedam, was about the local legend where uh, the Sergor or singer lives so uh, that was an inspiration uh, just next to our uh, to our door so to say so and it is a very small country so uh, and we grew up in small villages maybe that uh, fucked us up a little bit <laughs> i don't know <laughs> no but indeed yeah and we are just uh, you know we love stories we love uh, music we love not just a little bit of metal here and there but we we love strange chord progressions we love classical music we love to make something new so when we are rocking in our own room then we feel it's good enough to release it so uh, it didn't that inspires us the most the way we work actually gotcha now uh, after this tour after you know finish the north american trek what is next for karak angren well because this tour was so overwhelming we really have to come back probably so when we get home we were going to talk about plans you know how to promote a new album and um we will work that out and, and and set up a campaign for next year and see where we go first and so that will be the main focus i think so it will be a a, pr a kind of a continuation that Car angren will come back to the united states soon i hope so yeah we have to see uh, what the options are but uh, we definitely would like to do that and tour the new album present it here again well thank you very much definitely looking forward for the first time of seeing uh Karen angren your three albums definitely are, are blown away and definitely quite intrigued about the new the new album definitely looking forward to that on 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 next year Soldiers, they're in here, and so these, it's a man of peace, and being silent by the one of war.